I use different lubricants than Nax. Actually, use, I don't know if you can see it. I use a normal mat for it. Actually, I used to use this one, but now this is more like a waxy. Yeah, I don't know what to call it. Actually, it's like a more waxy, you know, oily. It's a proper case loop. But I don't can roll them in it since it's only the neck. I'm actually just pushing them down into it. Let's put a little bit extra on there, just in case. Let's put just a little bit. Because it's very, you only need a small amount to make them properly fit. Then I just dab them like that. And uh, you can't see it, but it's a small it's a small amount of lubricant just on the edge here. Really small amount and it is on the inside as well, just a small amount. That's all you need. Oh, I'm too busy talking to you guys, so I forgot to put this put the dye in. As I said, the setup is how I like it. Probably not exactly what Reading wants. Maybe it is, but I like it this way. That's all she wrote. And it kicks out the primer. And I actually forgot something. Sweeping and picking up spent primers all over the floor. There we go. And I'm using the 0 0.331 neck pushing. Whoops. Oh, I'm lucky there. Didn't hit the, didn't hit the neck. See, so it's running. Camera's run. That's, that's all the lubricant you need. If you don't want more, clog up your tools. But if you feel it going really difficult to push it up again, to get the expander up through the neck, you might need some more lubricant. And if that don't work, maybe you need some other neck pushing. Or you just like it tight. it goes really fast I will pause the video here for a bit so I can run them through you don't want to watch me doing this for about 100 cases it's it's just stupid.